All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS animation by building a Ferris wheel, a step nine. So now we're going to create a selector to target our second line element. We'll set the transform property to rotate 60 degrees. Also, we need to remember that the transform property allows us to manipulate the shape of an element. In this case, we'll be using the rotate 60 degree value to rotate the element around the transform origin point by 60 degrees clockwise. Awesome. So we're just going to take this. Last time we set the origin to right here. So it's just going to go 60 degrees this way. So right in the middle of this. Uh, no. A third of it? Anyway, whatever. Two thirds of it because it's 60 degrees of 90. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do now is say, wait a second. How do we do this? Do you remember? You know what? I sure didn't. I feel I figured it out during rehearsal so that you, so that you don't have to. All right. But uh, we did go over this a long a while ago. We've got this CSS nth of type selector. I don't remember where it was. Maybe it was in uh, the city skyline thing. I don't know. Uh, but we are definitely doing, going to be using this. So we're just going to say uh, colon nth of type after line. And we'll just, since we're targeting two, we'll put two in there. So we'll come over here and we'll say dot line because it's a brand new selector dot line. We'll have the colon nth hyphen of hyphen type. And then we'll do some, uh, what are those kind of called parentheses right here? And we'll say two because that's the one we're selecting. So let's put down the curly braces. And inside here, we'll say transform rotate. Nope. Rotate 60 deg like that. And so as you see, we now have a slice of pizza going on right here, right? A slice of New York style pizza. This isn't the Pizza Hut eight cut. This is the New York style six cut. All right. So let's uh, check it. Looks good and submitted. All right. Now we're on to step 10 and we'll see you next time.